Okay, today we're going to be talking about applying conservation of energy to vibrations. The concept is simple. We, we, we use the conservation of energy where we take the kinetic plus the potential energy and note that it should be a constant. So the kinetic plus the potential energy is constant. Now let's that write it down. Well, let's write the kinetic energy this way. One half times the mass times the velocity, which I'm going to write here as the time derivative of x squared. That's the kinetic energy. We'll write the potential energy this way. One half times k, the spring constant, times the displacement, x squared. And that should equal a constant. Now I'm going to manipulate this expression a bit. First, dividing by m over 2, the leading term here, and I'll replace k over m with the frequency. And so I'll write it this way x dot squared, that's the time derivative of x squared, plus omega squared, x squared, is constant. Now the conservation of energy expressed in this way is useful for determining the frequency or period of the oscillation. Here's the frequency. We can use this expression to calculate the frequency in two different ways that I've outlined here. First, we can wait till there's a maximum displacement and at that maximum displacement the kinetic energy will be zero and the potential energy will be just a function of the position. So think of a, a pendulum swinging and when this pendulum is swinging at the maximum displacement the kinetic energy is zero because it stops. So let's draw a little pendulum here. Swinging. So th this swings back and forth this way and at the maximum displacement here, the, the velocity is zero, the kinetic energy is zero, and the potential energy is just a position, a, a, f a function of the position. Now as the system passes through equilibrium, here at the bottom, at equilibrium, the potential energy will be zero, and the kinetic energy will be a function of the time derivative of the position or the velocity. So here at the as the system passes through equilibrium the, the total energy is constant and we can just calculate it from the velocity at the zero point point. and then this in this case the, the, the pendulum will swing over to this side and back and it'll go through um, a cyclic motion. So we can think of vibrations a lot like this pendulum.